Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Office 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to collapse and expand the ribbon and use full screen mode. Let's get started. This tutorial is for Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Outlook, so no matter what Office application you're using, this will all be true and useful. So here we go. The first thing that we need to know is uh, what the ribbon is. That's the tabs up at the top, as well as all of the commands within them and the groups at the bottom. Now sometimes my students will ask me, hey, how come I can't see my tabs or my groups or my commands up here? Well, usually that's because they've accidentally hidden the ribbon. So if if you accidentally hide the ribbon, all you need to do is get it to show back up. So first off, to hide the ribbon, you need to go to the bottom right of the ribbon, which is right here, and it says collapse the ribbon. Need a bit more space? Collapse the ribbon to show only the tab names. And so when you do this, it'll actually uh, hide all of the commands and groups, and so now you only see the tabs up at the top. In order to see all of the commands again, you need to click back in the tab and then you will see them. But keep in mind, when you click away back in your document, they'll disappear once more. A lot of students accidentally hide the ribbon by mistake, and so we want to make sure that we know how to also pin it back so that you can see it no matter what the default view for Microsoft Office. So if I click on Home, and I go back over to where that button was at, it says pin the ribbon. And if you like seeing the full ribbon, you just click right there on that, and that'll pin the ribbon back up to where it was. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is just to the left of the minimize button, you have this button right here, which are your ribbon options. I just showed you the default, which is show tabs and commands, which shows the ribbon tabs and commands all the time. That's again the default view in Microsoft Office. And then I just also showed you show tabs, which shows the tabs only and you click the tab to show the commands. Again, it looks like that. So that's one way to do that. The third option, or the, rather the top option up here, is hide the or auto hide the ribbon. This hides the ribbon and you can click at the top of the application to show it. So some people like to see a lot of, uh, ra rather than seeing a lot of commands up here, they want to see all of their document. And so if you click auto hide ribbon, you can see it really shows you your entire document with only the ruler displaying if you have that displaying. And to actually do or work with any of the commands, you just have to hover up at the top to where you see the blue bar and click and that'll open up your ribbon. And so if you're somebody that likes to see a lot of space on their page, this could be a useful option for you. Now keep in mind, if you ever want to change any of these options from here or pin the taskbar, you actually won't see the pin the taskbar option over here. You have to go right up here to the left of the minimize button, click with the ribbon display options, and then go back to show tabs and commands or show tabs. When you do that, it'll lock your taskbar back, or sorry, not the taskbar, the ribbon back in place. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to pin and unpin the ribbon. If it has, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.